Sharpa is live in Sacramento with a look at the Pride and Joy Community Baby Shower. Now, you know what? I, I know you're listening here. You were carrying Yeah, this is that amazing. Oh, darn. She was carrying that sack like a, a mom. Child bag. Right. You just, in, they call it muscle memory, I guess. I sat there and I realized I was, oh my gosh. And it's been years since I've had my own little baby. Anyway, you can see all of these things are up for raffle. This is a really big event. This is the Pride and Joy Baby Shower for the community. We're going to talk to a couple of folks here. Joining us now is um, uh, Mr. Sterner. You are our county supervisor. Tell us how important it is to have an event like this for the community. Well, this is our third annual uh, Pride and Joy Community uh, Baby Shower. And as you can see behind me, we have a number of people that are setting up uh, resource tables for expectant mothers here in Sacramento County. And the last two have been so hugely successful in providing educational materials and, and information about how folks can do everything to, uh, to get help with car seats, to... Uh, setting up this playpen. I remember those. Setting up the playpens, the right way to sleep your baby, um, lactation consultants. So it's really a comprehensive... Uh, place and one stop uh, shopping, and this is really yeah. good for parents because I remember being a young parent, it, it's scary, you know. It, it is, and I think this not only is a place to get information, but it's also a place where expectant mothers can really uh, get to know one another. See people like yourselves. Yep, absolutely. All right, let me join the little family over Hi. here. Hi, Monica. Yes, this is Mon. Hi. Dad, you are Jess. Jess, and baby Sovereign. Sovereign. Now, tell me, what does an event like this? Uh, mean to you guys to be able to come here and, and see all the stuff they have? Uh, I think it's great information for mothers and babies and kids. Um, they have a lot of vendors here that talk about like important things that we should know uh, for mothers such as you know how babies should sleep um, and for for us like stress relieving uh, tips which is... How's, how's Sovereign sleeping? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been there. I can relate. Tough. Yeah. yeah, she's tough right now. But it's great to get that kind of support. Okay, and for Dad, mm -hmm. you know, was it nervous? Were you nervous when you, you first had Sovereign come home? Yeah, this is uh, actually my first newborn. Uh, so it's like that part is a little bit, little bit nerve-wracking, but ultimately I felt like I was prepared by my father, my parents. So it was very easy for me to be... Uh, first time dad very easy well guess what you have a beautiful family and she looks okay she looks happy where she is of course she's always happy oh that's good well good luck to you and blessings and many more if you want them <laughs> okay and again there's so much here as you saw from mom and dad and again those pillows that i was holding i told you i thought were so interesting they have them through the pregnancy we'll go over here this table real quick I just wanted to show you this, I'm running. But they start dad with these and they go on until they get to that 40 weeks and they have them actually wear them, they have them pick stuff up, walk upstairs. So they can be invested. And they said dads, a lot of dads get attached. They don't want to give their pillows back. But again, so much going on here. What a great event for moms and dads who've just had babies and those who are expecting. Back to you. But they give the pillow back and then they get the real thing. That's so exciting. Um, I was out there, I can't remember if it was last year, a couple years ago. They have a raffle, mm -hmm. like 